Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I created this look using a bunch of new products. To me anyways, they're not new, but they're new to me. I always say that. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Liquid Foundation. Is that what it's called? Sheer Long Wear Makeup. I have the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector. Kelsey Ballerini Eyeshadow by CoverGirl. I have a new mascara from e.l.f. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm a 52-year-old professional makeup artist, licensed hairstylist, and I dip into fashion a little bit. We're all growing old, our skin is changing, and it can be a challenge sometimes. So I hope you stick with me. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I love to see you in the comments. When you comment in the comments section, it really helps the algorithm know that you're enjoying my videos and it helps more people see them. So thank you so much. So let's get to it. I look like a mess and I have an online makeup con Oh, what is this? Hold on. Oh no. I think I got foundation in my hair. Is this gonna match? I have an online consultation coming up very soon. I have to get ready and I thought I'd film it with you. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do today. I did purchase the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. Has anyone used this before? I used to love the Double Wear Light formula and they discontinued it. I was at Sephora and I was trying to get matched and I think I've got the wrong color. Damn, do I have the wrong color? I do, I think it's the wrong color. It's sheer enough though, that I think I can get away with it. Am I even gonna like this? Hmm, well, let's try it. I almost feel like this brush is too fluffy. Hmm, I'm actually gonna change the brush up to the Nikki LaRose brush. This is the N17. The reason I'm doing that is because with this formulation, it's quite liquidy, you see, and I don't have to push it into my skin like I would another foundation. So I really want to drag it in this case because it's so light. Is this giving me anything? Maybe that's why I chose this color. Oh yeah, it covered my freckle there. Okay, and for reference, I should tell you what color this is. This color is 3N1. I feel like I probably could have used the two, maybe even mixed. I need a two and a half. I want a light coverage today because when I'm working with clients, I want them to see my face and see my skin. Oftentimes I'll demonstrate on myself if I need to teach them something. I'm excited. I've worked with Lisa before. She's the one that booked. She booked it for her mom and her. So I get to meet her mom. I'm talking about Lisa like you guys know her. <laughs> I don't know her, know her either. We just met in my comments section and then I had a session with her and it's like she's my friend. That's what happens. So funny how social media can connect you with people all over the world. So I'm building up a little bit here. I've got a freckle there, got my hyperpigmentation there, my veins in the temple area. And even building up, it doesn't look like I've got makeup on, but it is taking care of the redness around my nose and the discoloration. Let me just blend it down my neck here. Actually, that color looks good. When I have the online consultations, I always get you to fill out a questionnaire first so that I can have an idea of what your taste is and what you have in your collection. And the whole idea of these online consultations, whether it be for makeup or hair, is that it's not about you spending money. I mean, yes, you have to pay for my services, but it's not about you having to go out and buy brand new makeup because I'm not affiliated with any brand. I do have affiliate links if you need the products, but it's never about pushing a product. Not that I've ever done that. Do you know, I've never done that. I've never pushed anybody to buy anything. Oh, I have a new product to try. I went to Toronto this past week and I finally found the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Corrector. I'm very excited about this. We'll see how it goes. I feel like, are you guys seeing my true color? Will there ever be a video where I'm not playing with the lights? I don't think so. Yeah, I think that might be better. I never wanna make myself look better than I am. I feel like that's a better representation. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I wanna try it out. So right where I'm dark in here, that's where I'm gonna place this color corrector, right there. And I'm just gonna do a dot. Well, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna take a Beely brush. This is a brush that was sent to me from Amazon. And I'm going to thin it out a little bit. Ah, 
I'm placing that there first to counteract that color. I have my glasses marked there, don't pay attention to that. And then when I use my concealer over top, hopefully I don't have to use very much and the gray won't pop through. Okay, in one of my last videos I explained that I don't like to use light coverage concealers. I mean, I do, I have to be in the mood. It just, it honestly depends on my mood. But what happens with a light coverage concealer is this will pop through. I'm gonna try the Kaja concealer. I don't remember loving this, but I can't remember why. And it probably was just the coverage issue. Let's do that right in there as well. Let's start here first. I should have done one without and one with. So my consultation today is with a mother-daughter. Lisa wants her mom to be treated, so I'm gonna give her mom my focus. They both requested more affordable options if I were to recommend products. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. And I've been trying out a lot of affordable products, so I have the knowledge to be able to help them, thank goodness. I'm getting better at that. Hey. That looks really good. I ordered a bunch of e.l.f. lip liners. Should I save that for another video? Um, I wanna try one. There are a lot of you that say you're sick of the nudes. I can see why, everybody wears nudes. So let me try one that's darker. I'm going to use the cream, oh. That's what my girlfriend said. Once you take the package off, you'd have no idea what color this is. Hmm, that's not a very well thought out plan, but that's probably why it's cheaper. They didn't pay for the name to go on the uh, package. This is called Plum, I think it's Uslay. No, Plum and Get It. It's a black plum. And I suppose you don't really need to know the name of the color if it's for yourself, right? Doesn't help me when I'm trying to film with it. I should tell you how much I paid for these. Hold on. I paid $39 Canadian for, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lip liners for $39 Canadian. That's including taxes and duties. Wow, that's really good. You can't beat that. Let's check out this concealer now that I've talked. Yeah, oh, I like that now. You wanna hear a story? I was so excited about a video that I created. I was inspired by Natasha Denona. I did create a look following her tutorial the other day and posted it. So the last video, I used an e.l.f. eyeshadow. There was no sound when I went to edit it. I was so disappointed. I was really excited about that one. I, I created a good look. Actually, I can show you right here what it looked like. I did one eye in the standard kind of shape that I normally do and one halo eye and it looked good. Oh, I wanted to show you my necklaces, look. I talked about this necklace before, but I like the brand so much, I ordered myself a little initial. I always wanted one, I don't know why. I'm not one to follow the fads a lot, but sometimes when I see something over and over again, I wanna be involved too. The quality is really, really pretty. And I got these cuties off of Amazon as well. Let's go into the brows since I cannot decide what to do on my eyes. I'm almost thinking I shouldn't do anything. So when I used to work in retail, if the store wasn't busy and I saw an older lady coming into my store, I would always get her to sit down and I would do her makeup. And every single time my client would say, oh, but I'm not spending any money. And I would always say, that's okay. And they would be so surprised. And then I would hear their life story. More often than not, either they had never gotten their makeup done before or they hadn't gotten their makeup done since their wedding. Most of them had not gotten their makeup done before though. It made my day when I was able to do that. These ladies were typically in their 80s or late 70s, sometimes older. I'm guessing that Ruth is probably about my mom's age, but I'm not sure, I actually didn't ask her. I should tell you what I'm using. This is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. And somebody told me to take this sponge applicator off of these e.l.f. I can't remember who it was, and I'm so grateful, what a great idea. Let's do, yeah, that is a pain in the butt. Now I can clean this up. So if you have anything in a package like this, like Charlotte Tilbury or the e.l.f., Laura Mercier has some highlighters that way too. 
just take the sponge off and it's less of a mess. So I'm gonna put just a little bit on my hand. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand and it's in light medium. I love this color. I like how easy it is to apply. I'm gonna work it into my brush a little bit like this and then squeeze my brush and put it where I want it to go. And again, I used way more product than I needed. There's my glasses mark. Oh well, I'm gonna need my glasses on anyways. I know what I'm gonna do. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist by Kelsey Ballerini. And I think I might just put this on. Sometimes a product like this can end up kind of shimmering all over your face. So I'll let you know in the comments how it lasted. It may not be a fair judgment today though because I'll probably be playing around with it. My finger seems to take it off a little bit too much. Oof, I got a lot of sparkle there. Well, I've learned that you can build it up. It is better to apply it with a brush, just tapping it on. This is another product that I took with me to Toronto. I love the Thrive Liquid Lash Extender. So good. I know I love the Thrive, so maybe I should try something different. I'm gonna try the e.l.f. Lash Extend. I'm gonna do this on one side and the Lash and Roll on the other. I know I like the Lash and Roll. I've tried the Lash Extend and I'm not sure if I like it. It felt kind of sticky. This is my good eyelash side. So I'm gonna use the new one on this side. Maybe I was having an off day, so I really wanna give it a shot. Go to the e.l.f. website and watch the video clip. It's about 14 minutes long. It's pretty cool. What I found with the second coat is it kind of felt sticky, but it's not now. It's a lengthening mascara with tubing technology for instant drama. Clump, flake, and smudge resistant formula. It easily removes with warm water. This mascara is $9. Is that $9 Canadian or $9 American? All right, so this side's gonna be the lash and roll. This is not a tubing mascara. I oh, just wanna see what two coats look like compared to this side. Lash and Roll is $8, and it is a mega curling mascara with a unique double-sided and curved silicone brush to lift and separate lashes for an eye-opening effect. Let's do another coat. The Lash and Roll, I find, looks a bit more natural. Like, you can see how it stays soft and I can move my lashes around. It's not a bad feeling, it's just a little, well, it's created the tubes, right? So it's almost solidified a little bit. This feels more like a waterproof. It's not a bad thing, it's just different. I think I'm gonna use Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, and this is in color, I believe it says ice cold. Oh, the road. <laughs> I was so far off. Oh my goodness. Before I put anything on my lips, I just wanna see, oh, it's not bad. Let me just touch it up again. I'm gonna be talking a lot, so I wanted something that's gonna last. And I don't find that this dries my lips out. Since I'm going for this fresh look, I'm going to use a Physician's Formula blush. This is this is the Glow and Mood Boosting Blush, and this is in Rose. Look it. Did I? Oh, is that the way it's supposed to go? I guess that is the way it's supposed to go. So the package isn't broken. When you open it up, it comes right out, and there's a mirror. Huh, that's clever. I mean, do we need that mirror? I don't know.
Right, so if you have hyperpigmentation and it matters that you have it covered, that foundation's not the one. Or I could have used that foundation with a concealer over top. That would have worked as well. Last step I'm gonna do is powder. I find that I'm just, you can see I'm a little shiny around my nose here. So I'm gonna test out my, it's a lot of e.l.f. today, isn't it? Not on purpose. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I try to keep using them until I really know how they sit. So I'll go in there. Just press, just to get some of that shine down. Yeah, see, it took some of that down. Oh, I got lipstick right there. Pfft, how did that happen? Okay, let's evaluate my eye area. Oh, and there's some sparkle right there. Did it fall there or did I bump it? Oh, that came off easy. Let's check this out. Oh, that looks really good. I mean, when I pull down my skin, I can see some creasing, but it's not bad at all. And of course there's gonna be creasing. I have creases. The only way people are gonna see that is if I'm pulling it down and saying, look, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. So when I'm my normal self, nobody will see it. And I'm happy with that. I'm gonna set it a little bit. Feel like I went a little heavy with the sparkle right there. All right, let me know if you've tried any of these products before. I hope this helps you in some way. I didn't really have a plan again for this video, but I did have some success, so that's really good. All the links are gonna be listed in my description box for you. They are affiliate links, and if you use those, they do support my channel. I put it back into my videos by purchasing new products, and it helps me out a lot. I'm kinda liking this hairstyle. It's a lot easier to get ready. What do you think of the color corrector? Do you think it made a difference? And let me know what you wanna see next. Thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends and I will see you later. Bye!